Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises and the glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahshai, Rakatha Yahweh, Bahasham Yahshai, Bahasham Rakakodash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Minstone, peace and salutations to our sincere brothers, pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. All the praises given to Yahweh, Barsham Yahshai. Amen. Yeah, I just saw this through the Spirit. And I just want to know if you, maybe some of your brothers that are good at, you know, searching out, you know, certain signs through, through the media, you know, if this is something worthwhile looking at. Right? I tell you. Just in. This was about what? Um, 7th of February. Just in. DeSantis hosts. Round table on media. Defamation featuring. Covington grad. Nicholas Sandman. If you remember brothers. Nicholas Sandman. Uh, about four years ago, when he had some kind of issue with the Hebrew Israelites. But anyway, there's something controversial going on here. We don't know what they're doing here, but he's been stirred up again. So, um, if you want to look into it, you could type that in. Uh, have a look. And you might get some meat out of it, or maybe not. Yeah. Um. If you remember Nicholas Sandman, Sandman, let me play a little bit. The truths on the cutting room floor and the narratives that they're supporting and, and furthering uh, actually damage a lot of people with lies. And so we have a number of people here who are well versed either personally or professionally in the area of, of defamation law. And at the end of the day, what I think they fought for is to hold these big media companies accountable for their actionable lies. And, you know, it's one thing you say what you want and, and truth, and that's fine. And the truth isn't always comfortable. Uh, but when you're knowingly putting out false information, and indeed, I'd say these companies are probably the leading purveyors of disinformation in our entire society right now. Uh, there needs to be an ability for people to defend themselves, not through government regulation or restriction, but through being able to seek private right of action. So I'm going to introduce everybody. Uh, they're going to all say a few things, and then we'll get into having a discussion about this. And so uh, first guest here, uh, Nicholas Sandman, uh, graduate of Co Covington Catholic High School, Many of you may be familiar with the name. If you're not, we got a video queued up where he'll be, you'll be able to see uh, what brought him to the forefront. The full video of what happened on Friday in Washington is well over an hour long. The four minutes that made Twitter don't tell the story, but instead distort the story. A longer look shows that the boys from Covington Catholic in Kentucky were not a roving mob looking for a fight. They were, in fact, and it shows it on the tape, standing in place waiting to be picked up by a bus. As they waited there, members of a group called the Black Hebrew Israelites, that's a black supremacist organization, began taunting them with racial epithets. And then Nathan Phillips, the now famous American Indian activist, approached them, pounding on his drum. Now, the footage seems to suggest that the boys were unsure of whether Phillips was hostile or taking their side against the black Hebrew Israelites. But in any case, there is no evidence at all that anybody said, build a wall. Here's a selection of what didn't make social media. This child molesting a little priest right there. Right, Let's make America great again. A bunch of child molesting Look at all these dusty crackers with that racist garbage on. Look at these dirty that's right. A bunch of in incest babies. A bunch of babies made out of incest. The biggest terrorist on the face of this earth is the pale face man, woman, and child. It's not surprising, then, that when a group of pro-life Catholic kids who look like lacrosse players and live in Kentucky are accused of wrongdoing, the media don't pause for a moment before casting judgment. 
Maggie Haberman of the New York Times suggested the boys needed to be expelled from school. Anna Navarro of CNN called the boys racists and asswipes and then went after their teachers and their parents. Others called for violence against them. CNN legal analyst Bakari Sellers suggested one of the boys should be, quote, punched in the face. Former CNN contributor Reza Aslan agreed. Aslan asked on Twitter this, have you ever seen a more punchable face than this kid's? Longtime CNN contributor Kathy Griffin seemed to encourage a mob to rise up and hurt these boys. Quote, name these kids. I want names. Shame them. If you think these efforts wouldn't dox you in a heartbeat, think again. Then she repeated her demand again later. Quote, names please and stories from people who can identify them and vouch for their identity. Thank you. Hollywood film producer Jack Morrissey tweeted that he wanted the boys killed. Quote, MAGA kids go screaming hats first into the wood chipper. And then he paired that with a graphic photo. Actor Patton Oswalt linked to personal information about one of the boys in case anyone wanted to get started on that project. Meanwhile, Twitter, which claims to have a policy against encouraging violence, stood by silently as all of this happened. Well, it was just over a year ago that CNN collaborated with the Washington Post and many other so-called news outlets to destroy the lives of innocent teenagers from Covington High School in Kentucky. Operating on the basis of totally false cliches about those kids, they slandered them relentlessly. Well, last week, CNN settled a lawsuit from Covington student Nick Sandman. It was a triumph for ordinary people, a kid victimized by people far more powerful than he. It's understandable that CNN would want to sweep this under the rug. They got busted and they paid, hopefully, many millions. All right, Nick, floor is yours. <laughs> so, yes, <clears throat> my name's Nicholas Sandman. Um, what we saw there. Ha- so, you can remember this, this fellow, brothers, yeah? So, if you want to look into it and see where it's turning again, it's been revisited. So, for whatever reason, yeah? But um, maybe you brothers could delve into it to see even further. Yeah. All right. So this is, you could go and check it out. Yeah. On here. All right. Okay. So this has been revisited four years later. So we don't know what's happening. Shalom.